Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. This is the Raspberry Pi as, you, as you've seen in my previous video. It runs uh, Open Elac. And I have had some difficulties getting it uh, to work uh, quick. Because the CPU was running all the time at 100%. And it uh, had some freezes and hangs. So I was going to investigate what was going on and how I could improve the performance. So first of all, <coughs> this of course contains one SD card with OpenELAC on it. And as I saw on some forums on the internet, it was a good idea to split the partitions on that uh, SD card. So the storage partition and put it on, that, on another drive. Um, and in this case, I uh, bought a powered USB hub and I've attached one uh, USB flash drive, which currently contains the storage partition. So it can read and write uh, to two devices actually, so it's faster. Um, and also, um, I saw that the transmission, which is a torrent client I'm using, uh, is run was running on this uh, Raspberry and it was uh, causing quite um, well quite some CPU usage and so I split it into another Raspberry Pi so the new <coughs> sorry for that the new Raspberry Pi contains a transmission and I've got also a sick beard, couch potato and headphones running on it. And the old, let's call this one, the old Raspberry uh, has a hard drive connected to it, USB hard drive connected to it, uh, which contains my videos and torrent downloads. And they are shared uh, using the Samba client it's already a Samba server actually. Uh, well, as you can see there, the yellow wire is going to my router. And this one, which got another color of uh, wire, but of course you can see it's also connected to my router, uh, can watch those files and download new parts of it and, well, save them to the hard drive. So in this case, I maintain a the best speed to watch movies because the hard drive is directly connected to open elac and this one um, gets files from the internet through the ethernet cable and then when they're processed well just the package of course um, they will be sent um, via my same router back to this raspberry which sends it through to the hard drive disk I've got connected over there. Um, as I've mentioned before, it also runs, um, besides transmission, Sigbeard couch potato and headphones. And in this case, this CPU is running at, let's say, well, about 70 to 80%. <clears throat> and this one is running uh, at CPU of, well, about, should be well it's also fluctuating of course <clears throat> but it's running between 40% and of course 100% if it's doing some heavy work and at this point the, the really heavy work is um, which you can see on this one is the sharing of the files uh, to the other Raspberry so that is uh, currently the big um, how do you say it well, hiccup or something, I'm not sure of the word. So, yeah, well, that's, that's it actually. It's working. It's, uh, I'm uh, pretty happy with this setup because it's, uh, it's uh, performing pretty well. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.